you know, you don't have a lot of people from your country that are doing well on YouTube, that are putting positive stories about agriculture, about agribusiness on YouTube. Now, don't say because it has not been done, it can never be done. It is never like that. It is never like that. If the fact that it has never been done doesn't mean it cannot be done, please. The profession of being a content creator has never been named as a white-collar job. But go around. Listen to the revenue that YouTubers, some YouTubers make. Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpisachere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now remember, Aceda House Commodities or Ashko is a maize trading entity located in Techimai, Ghana. Now we have taken the past decade to study the maize trading trends in Ghana and the maize value chain of Ghana. And the, and the ins and outs of the maize business of Ghana. So, should you have any info? Should you have any inquiries? Okay, should you need maize? Do you have any inquiries about agribusiness in the direction of maize supply or maize production in general? Or should you need maize in large quantities? And I'm talking to poultry farmers, I'm talking to fish farmers. And I'm talking to animal feed producers in general. We are the best people to speak with. No matter the quantity of goods that you need or you require, speak with us and we will get them available to you. All right. Now, today's story is very amazing. This is like the most interesting story I have ever heard from any of you guys, you know, my YouTube family. A lot of calls have been coming. I received a lot of calls. And I'm so happy that the message about agribusiness is touching a lot of lives. Whether it has, it has helped you to go into agribusiness or it has informed or triggered something in you about the importance of agribusiness, I believe strongly that it has, you know, uh, make a positive impact on a lot of people. And we are not done yet. Now, this is the story. One of you guys called me. Now, because of secrecy and because of privacy and because I have not informed the person that I'm going to use his story to make a video, I just want to, you know, um, disguise his name. In this video, I'm going to call the person Kwasi. Even though the person is actually a Gambian, I'm going to call the person Kwasi. Okay. All right. So Kwasi, who is a Gambian, called me about three weeks to one month ago and he was so happy he was so interested in the fact that there are a lot of opportunities in other african countries but they are no you know according to how he perceives it or how he sees things those opportunities are not in the gambia now if you are a gambian and you're you're watching me right now take this message message very seriously Share it to your fellow Gambians or share it to anybody in anybody you know for the motivation's sake and for the fact that this is going to, you know, have a very good impact on you. Now, because he said he has watched a lot of videos on YouTube and I've heard a lot of positive stories, you know, about a country like Ghana. Right, he has seen a lot of YouTube channels about Ghana, in a lot of YouTubers in Ghana, and a lot of YouTube channels in Ghana that you know advocates and speak about agriculture and agribusiness, and a lot of you know channels that 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 makes the YouTube space very interesting. And if he if he does his checks, is is either they are from Ghana or some West African countries, or you know any other country in Africa but Gambia. Now, because of that, Kwasi has made it, you know, one of his aims that after his life, because Kwasi is now is in Europe, I won't mention the country, I won't mention the country too, but he says after his life in Europe, which he plans to end very soon, he's coming to Ghana. 
because of the reasons that I've mentioned. And he has had he has had a lot of you know hope that when he comes to Ghana, a lot of things are going to do are, are going to go well. Now, because he, if you're watching me right now, you know that you are the one I had this conversation with. You are so welcome to Ghana. Ghana is a very beautiful country, and we we are very welcoming. And there are a lot of opportunities. If you put your eyes on the ground, if you search for the opportunities, you find them. So you're welcome to Ghana anytime you decide to come. But let me tell you something, Kwasi. Your country, Gambia. Okay, I, I I understand that Gambia is 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 less than the population of Gambia is less than three million. The population of Gambia is actually less than three million. It's 2.4 or 2.5 million. That's the population of Gambia. Now, I want to tell you something that you don't know, or you know, but you have not actually put it into consideration. Listen, there's something popularly known as the fewer the merrier. There's something called the fewer the merrier. What do I mean? Don't look at the fact that your country has less population. Don't look at the fact that the, your country is, has less population. Now, if you go to Google, there are a lot of negative things said about Gambia. There are a lot of um, negative things. You know, you can hear stuff like, you know this population thing, which is nobody's uh, nobody's fault. You know, so don't blame yourself if you're in Gambia or any part of the of, of of this African continent, and you you don't have a lot of your population is not that on that level. Don't worry yourself. You know, nobody caused it. And there are a lot of things like a lot of you hear a lot of stuff like you know um, human rights violation and all those you know <laughs> negative things that are being said about Africa. That we know already. Ready. Meanwhile, these human rights issues, they are everywhere in the world. When people have power, they feel like they are above the law and they manipulate the law. We know it. The whole of Africa and the whole of no and the whole of the whole of this world. The whole you know in the whole world it happens. And we know it, we see we see evidence of it. People have power, and because of that, they feel like they are on top of the world. And they, they paint Africa in such a manner that anybody wanting to come to Africa will not want to come. Even our own diasporans who are, you know, in the diaspora, our own brothers and sisters who are in the diaspora, they don't want to come because of, you know, the, 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 the negative perceptions that have been said about Africa. Now, I'm telling you people of Gambia that the fewer the merrier. Okay, and because of that, there are a lot of opportunities that you have not even identified in your country, Gambia. There are a lot of opportunities. Because if I also search, I, if I also search on the same Google, I see things like peanut or granite is heavily cultivated in Gambia. Corn is being cultivated cultivated mango is being cultivated what does this tells me it tells me that the cash crop is does very well in the on the land of gambia and you know even these uh, seasonal crops also do well if maize do if maize does well in the land of gambia then you have a very large opportunity just as the people of ghana also have because it's not all all even all parts of ghana that miss that well. okay and secondly, apart from the fact that they feel the Maria, let me also set, send this message to you, Kwesi, and all other Gambians or Africans that that feel, you know, in that feel like they are in in, in the my, minority or feel, in, for lack of a better word, feel inferior or find themselves in the minority or the minor, you know, corner of this 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 world that we are in. That even if Nobody has done it before. Even if you look at, you watch a lot of YouTube YouTube channels and you don't see people from your country, the people around you doing it, 
people around you going for you know um engaging or putting up beautiful stories like you're seeing right now it doesn't mean it will not work with you you know what you could be the pioneer you could be the one to trigger this that kind of you know revolution okay maybe you look at i know there are a lot of countries in africa 50 plus and then you can see if no matter where you are watching me from you can see that maybe you don't have this this um you don't have a lot of africans you know you don't have a lot of people from your country that are doing well on youtube that are putting positive stories about agriculture about agribusiness on youtube now don't say because it has not been done it can never be done it is never like that it is never like that if the fact that it has never been done doesn't mean it cannot be done please make yourself the pioneer make yourself the pioneer there are a lot of professions that are in this world that you find yourself in it no no that you find yourself as an african or as an african youth and then it looks like if you don't try that perception if you don't try that you know profession you've not done anything in life and we all know them they are known as the white color jobs i'm not the one who named them like that they are known as the white color jobs the profession of being a YouTuber has never been labeled as a white color job. Ask everybody. The profession of being a content creator has never been named as a white color job. But go around. Listen to the revenue that YouTubers, some YouTubers make. Listen to, to, to just look at, go around, look at how improved the life of a lot some youtubers make this is just an example there are a lot of professions out there that are not labeled as white color job but i tell you if you go into it you realize that your life is improving even much 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 more than those people they call white color job people okay so if you don't find yourself such a job that is labeled as a white color job don't don't say that's the end of the world because it is not. Because you know, you know something? Be the pioneer in, in shifting to your own lane. Find your, your interest. Okay? Find your interest and then go on that path. Okay? Now, I have said time and time again that agribusiness and agriculture as a whole is a noble profession. If you find yourself being an agripreneur or an entrepreneur in the space of agribusiness and agriculture, it's a noble profession. You are feeding the world. And I tell you, if you feed the world, the world will feed you. It's as simple as that. You know? It's as simple as that. It's the chichen thing. All right? You feed the world, the world will feed you. Please. Okay, so people in the in places like Gambia, Kwasi, who is a Gambian, people in this in, in, in places like Gambia or any part of Africa that you don't find yourself, you know, around people who are content creators, who are, you know, who, who who does something that you have interest in, don't just say because of that you are not going to do what you're not going to do, you're not going to, you know, engage in something that you feel is right for you. Follow that passion and do it. You could be the pioneer. We have a lot of products on, on the market that because they took the journey, they took the path of being the pioneer in that line of you know production or in that in that uh, in that uh, space. Now they are the reference point. Okay, so the first thing is. The first thing that I want, the first message that I gave to Kwesi from Gambia, that I want to give to everybody who find himself in the minority labeled, in the minority labeled, you know, space. The first thing I want you to know is that the fewer the merrier. The fact that you are, you find yourself in a small group of people, it is easy for you to popularize yourself among them. 
it is easy for you to make you know to to put up uh, to put up stuff that will make them you know like you first because you feel okay and so and, and so therefore the, the, the all the good things that comes there you're going is going to be shared among the few now that is one reason not to worry about coming from you know a country from a country that has low population because it doesn't limit the level of op- of opportunities there countries that have high population also have high problems <laughs> oh yes you know you can google you know the biggest countries the p- countries in the world that have biggest population they also have biggest problems so the fact that you are from a country that has little or small, relatively small population, should it be a hindrance of, of, for a hindrance to your, you know, going into your your passion or following your passion, doing what you feel is best for you? Now the second thing is also that because I want to I want to summarize everything and make this video as short as possible. Now the second thing is that. Don't disservice yourself by saying that nobody has done it before. You could be the first person to do it. You could be the pioneer to have done it. Okay? Don't say there is no person from Gambia. I'm from because you are from Gambia. There's no person in Gambia that is doing this, that that is being a YouTuber, that is being, you know, proactive in their activities, in their activity in the in activities like this that you know they feel passionate about. Don't say, don't let society stigmatize you. Fight for it. I'm here to let you know that even if there is, you don't have, you don't have, you know, you will find it difficult to, you know, pinpoint what exactly will be good for you. I tell you, this is a space that will help you go into agribusiness, establish yourself as a, a, a grain supplier, whatever you are. Establish yourself as a grain supplier. No matter how your population is, everybody eats. Everybody in your country eats. Okay? And, and you know, everybody that is around your country also eats. Maybe your country, maybe you want to expand from your country. I'm sure that you have neighboring countries that you can do what you can supply to. You can, do, you can create business opportunities or business network, business connections with. All right, so my people, my friends, my family in Gambia, East Africa, West Africa, North Africa, South Africa, we are one people, okay? And my message is to motivate all the youth of Africa, you know, to know that agribusiness is the present. It has even been the past. But if you have missed it, it is the present. Don't miss it. And it will definitely be the future. Okay. All right, so I want to summarize it like that. Okay, the fewer the merrier, and you can also be the pioneer if you find yourself in the situation of Kwesi from Gambia. So, my friends in Gambia, my viewers in Gambia, every part of this African count, beautiful African continent, go into agribusiness, get into agribusiness. Okay, get let. You know, take care of the soil. Let the soil feed you. God has created the soil, you know, to produce something, to produce the things that, that are going to sustain us. Okay, go into it. Plant maize, plant peanuts, plant beans, you know, plant mango, cash crops, plant something. Feed the world with a perception of feeding the world, and the world is going to feed you. All right. So thank you very much for watching me and for taking. I'm very sure that you have taken a lot of import, a lot of important information from this video. And until we meet in the next one, remember, this is Ashko of, you know, Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Acida House Comedies. And our, 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 our aim is one to highlight the importance of agribusiness and the good stories of agribusiness to come to the world, to come to, you know, the to, 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 to be close to the, you know, youth of Africa so we can make good use of it. All right. Until we meet in the next one, be positive, 
be an honest person, find your passion, and uh, even if your your passion is not in agri agri business, explore you know the opportunities in agri business. Hit us up, and we are all always on standby to talk to you, to you know to let your dream to support you the best way we can. Thank you. My name is Yawa Simplicity Channel. Until we meet in the next one, it's bye-bye for now.